Hi, and welcome to this video about what to do if you hate your homeschool curriculum. This is something that I think happens to just about every homeschool family at some point during their homeschool time. They choose a curriculum that they get so excited about, and then they get a month or two months or even a few months into it, and they realize this just is not working. And so today I want to share three strategies that you can try when the curriculum that you have chosen just is not working for you and your family. Please take a minute to hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notified whenever a new video is released. Okay, so today I want to share three strategies for what you can do if you hate your homeschool curriculum. And the first one is to make sure that you really understand how the curriculum is supposed to be used. A lot of times curriculums will come with an introduction section, uh, something at the beginning of the book, or maybe a separate teacher's guide, or some sort of resources for you to help you understand how you're supposed to teach that curriculum. And if you haven't already, now would be the time to go back and read through those resources and make sure there's not something that you missed. Maybe it will help to explain how to use the curriculum in a way that you hadn't considered, or maybe it will help you understand the rationale behind why they're doing what they're doing. And that can help you to make some informed decisions about how you use the curriculum. You also might look for support groups on social media. Many larger curriculums have them that people who are using the curriculum can go to and ask questions. And sometimes it can be helpful to either just read the posts and see what other people are doing and how other people are using the curriculum, or even to make a post of your own and just say, hey, I'm struggling with this, can somebody help? And a lot of times there's just some great wealth of information in the homeschool community to be able to help you to understand the resource that you have. Um, so if that doesn't work, then the second step would be to consider modifying the curriculum in some way. I think a lot of times as homeschool parents, we think that the people who wrote the curriculum are experts, and so we need to follow the curriculum exactly as it's written. We need to do every problem, we need to read every lesson, we need to do every activity exactly as they're written and in exactly the order that they're written. While it is true that the people who wrote the curriculum are experts in that subject and in how it could be taught, those people are not experts in your child. You are the expert in your child and you know your child and how your child learns better than the people who wrote the curriculum do. So it is totally okay to modify the curriculum and to take it and change it to make it work better for your child. This is okay to do. There are a couple of different ways that you can modify the curriculum. If your child is really understanding and picking up on the stuff quickly and is getting bored, then one thing that you could do would be to consider skipping sections. Maybe if it's a math book that has 20 review problems, you might do just the even numbered ones. Or maybe you might take your science curriculum and do the reading sections, but only do a few of the experiments and skip some of them. So there's lots of different ways that you can modify a homeschool curriculum, and it would be okay to skip sections if you feel like you need to do that. Another thing that you can do is add in some extra practice or some extra activities. This can be a really great way to take a curriculum that just isn't working for your family and modify it to make it work. So maybe if the curriculum seems boring to your child, you could read through the lessons and then find extra activities to apply the lessons and to help your child understand. Or maybe if your child is really struggling to get the concepts, you could add some extra practice problems or extra review or extra writing activities to help your child be able to understand and learn the concepts better. So you're using the curriculum still sort of as the baseline, but then you're either expanding or taking something away, modifying it in somehow to make it a little bit more appropriate for your child. Once you've tried that, if the curriculum still isn't working for you and you still don't like it, then the third option would be to replace it with something else. And this is okay to do as a homeschool parent too. The truth is that sometimes it's just really hard to tell when you're purchasing a curriculum how it's exactly going to work for your family and what it's going to be like to be teaching it. This is a skill that you will get better with 
over time as you pick out more and more different curriculum options for your kids and as you get to know your kids better as learners. But it's still something that has a little bit of a margin for error, no matter how many years you've been homeschooling. So it is okay to just give up on the curriculum and replace it with something else. That's not really a sign of defeat. It doesn't mean that you failed as a homeschool parent or as a teacher. It just means that you've learned something about how your child learns. And now that you have learned that, you're going to make a different choice. And that is totally acceptable to do. It's okay to switch curriculums, even in mid-year. Um, it's okay to switch. So just make sure that you have your child take a placement test for the new curriculum to make sure that you know what they know and what they don't know and you can incorporate that into where they start in the new curriculum to be able to find the perfect level for them. So hopefully that helps for some ideas and some things to think about if you just hate your homeschool curriculum. Please feel free to share in the comments what you've done when you found a homeschool curriculum that you don't love.